Sunday, these two men will compete in the Money in the Bank ladder match, but later tonight, it's a King of the Ring semi-final rematch as the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura, meets the Monday Night Messiah, Seth freaking Rollins. We are live tonight from the Allstate Arena, the Windy City, Chicago, Illinois, just days away from the Money in the Bank live premiere event this Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And this man, the harbinger of doom carrying cross, looking to bring the bad mojo upon the Windy City and continue to build some treacherous momentum towards his matchup with Matt Riddle. The number one contender has been on a war path on Monday Night Raw. And is Matt Riddle's WWE Championship reign about to experience its ultimate doomsday this Sunday at Money in the Bank? It's the original bro, Matt Riddle, challenging the number one contender, Karrion Cross, and the prestigious WWE Championship is going to be on the line. Last time we saw Karrion Cross, he ambushed Matt Riddle two weeks ago after Matt Riddle was successful in his pursuit in a main event, champion versus champion affair versus Finn Balor. The lights went out in the arena, Karrion Cross appeared in the ring and a choke slam that left the original bro lane. Karrion Cross, as we mentioned, a war path of destruction as of late on the red brand. Victories over Bobby Lashley. Earned the number one contendership with a victory over John Cena. But now tonight, Karrion Cross, as dangerous and destructive as he is, meets another man with a heart just as black as his, Tommaso Ciampa, who's looking to build momentum towards the men's Money in the Bank ladder matchup this Sunday night. Set to lock horns with the number one contender to the WWE Championship. It's going to be a great night of action here in the Windy City, Chicago, Illinois. We want to thank you for joining us in the final Monday Night Raw before Money in the Bank this Sunday at the Nationwide Arena in Columbus, Ohio. We'll be live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Every live premiere event getting bigger and better. And I just got a feeling Money in the Bank going to live up to that same saying. It's going to be a great night of action here in the Windy City. And Karrion Cross set to kick things off with the man who is also starting to build some momentum for himself as of late. A little bit of a path of destruction on the same side of the squared circle as the Blackheart, Tommaso Ciampa, approaches ringside. And his opponent from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 201 pounds. Well, Tommaso Ciampa was on a bit of a bad luck streak, but he really turned things around a month and change ago with a victory over The Miz at WWE Live. And then Tommaso Ciampa one-on-one -on -one with the street champ Sol Sokoa in a Money in the Bank ladder match, or I should say Money in the Bank qualifying matchup. And Tommaso Ciampa punching his ticket to this Sunday's festivities a few weeks back. Ciampa, former Intercontinental Champion, former World Tag Team Champion, both of those reigns coming in the last 12 months. Could Champa be on his way to becoming Mr. Money in the Bank this Sunday? Karrion Cross not looking to Tommaso Champa derail his momentum this evening. Karrion Cross has put aside Bobby Lashley, the Almighty. He has put aside John Cena by hook or by crook. I'm not saying they were the cleanest victories in the world. He's got that wicked witch Scarlet at ringside. He barely survived, in my personal eyes, Bobby Lashley. Back at Raw Homecoming last month in Madison Square Garden, but a win is a win, and Karrion Cross certainly a deserving challenger for Matt Riddle's WWE Championship. Tommaso Ciampa don't give a damn what Karrion Cross's plans are this Sunday. Ciampa wants to hold the briefcase and possibly find himself a future WWE Champion as well. And a maneuvers like that are certainly going to help Ciampa not only get the victory tonight, but possibly climb the rugs of the ladder this Sunday. It's a hard-hitting affair between two snot-nosed snot in-your-face wrestlers who do not give a damn about who you are or where you've been inside of the squared circle. Back and forth since the opening bell. Champ off the DDT, trying to get the victory over the number one contender. But it's going to take a lot more to keep the Harbinger of Doom down. Also, Champa keeping the foot on the gas pedal to kick things off. Trying to sneak up on Cross from behind and carry in Cross. Going to bring things to ringside. Arian Cross not afraid to use his surroundings to his advantage. We saw him put Bobby Lashley through this very announce table back at Raw Homecoming last month. 
Karrion Cross has certainly been destructive on Monday Night Raw in recent memory. I mean, backstage assault. Oh, wait a minute. To Lashley a few months ago, put him through a table in the backstage area. The choke slam to Matt Riddle inside of the squared circle two weeks ago. Just saw him chuck Tommaso Champ over the barricade right there. Karrion Cross trying to eliminate the competition. But look at Champa, beautiful maneuver, and down goes Cross. Tommaso Champa has really been laser focused as of late. This is a man we call the Blackheart because of previous just dastardly acts that Champa has committed here in the WWE, especially in the last 12 months. But it's almost as Champa is refocused and only bothering himself with what happens from bell to bell. And to be perfectly honest, it has worked for Tommaso Champa. Getting that focus right as of late. Karrion Cross is ragdolling Champ off the top rope. Also, has got to get back into this matchup before Cross starts to take over and just overpower the black heart of WWE. Karrion Cross stomping on said heart. Looking to make a statement out of Tommaso Ciampa tonight. He hopes Matt Riddle is in the backstage area, watching and learning what is going to happen this Sunday at Money in the Bank if Cross has his way. But here comes Ciampa, spinning out Cross, face first on the canvas. The lights are on. I don't know if anybody's home, but Cross still with some blood pumping through the veins in the opening matchup here tonight on Raw. Going to progress forward. Oh, wait a minute. Sayido, Doomsday Sayido that is. And that may do it. And Tommaso Ciampa gets the shoulder up and the matchup rolls on. What a great contest to kick things off tonight in the Windy City. And now Ciampa with a lariat behind. Back and forth, the pendulum momentum swings in your opening bout tonight. And still to come in your main event is a King of the Rings semi-final rematch. They tore down the house in Philadelphia last month. They're gonna do it again tonight in the Windy City. Two men that will compete in the Money Bank ladder match this Sunday night. Seth Rollins and Shinsuke Nakamura one-on-one -on -one in your main event. Back on the outside now, carrying Cross on the tail of Tommaso Ciampa and sending him right into the barricade. You don't want to start a brawl with carrying Cross, but on the same coin, Tommaso Ciampa's the kind of man who can survive it. But will he be able to survive tonight? Or is Karrion Cross's momentum too much for the Blackheart to handle at the current moment? This is a man who, as we mentioned, defeated Bobby Lashley and John Cena in his pursuit to becoming the number one contender for the WWE Championship. That speaks volumes here in the WWE. Karrion Cross got to get through Champa tonight. He's trying to get back into this matchup, and Matt Riddle awaits this Sunday for the WWE Championship. Raw's most prestigious prize, and Champa going for the pinfall there, but not just yet. Imagine the momentum that's going to be on Champa's side if he can defeat the number one contender tonight and waltz into the men's Money in the Bank ladder match this Sunday. Champa could very well be taking down the briefcase in the nationwide arena. Champa throwing some haymakers. This is really turning into a slugfest here. Look at Champa go! Tommaso Champa. Came to the Windy City with a mission here tonight. And Karrion Cross, it could be anybody standing across the ring from Champa. Tommaso not going to let anybody derail his momentum, derail his hunger for victory. Cross is down and out. Champa's got to capitalize. Went for the kick. Could have been setting up the fairy tale ending to no avail. And a second Doomsday Saito. On a surgically repaired neck of Champa, that is, and I don't know if Tommaso is going to be able to survive a second Doomsday Saito. But Cross isn't done. Not going for the pinfall. He's locking in the straight jacket on Tommaso Champa. Cross has got it locked in tight. Oh, wait a minute. Champa breaking the hold. Tommaso Champa is fired up tonight. Letting the adrenaline run through the soul of the cold hearted Blackheart. And Ciampa not able to capitalize on his own reversal there. Oh wait, they have spoke too soon. Here comes Ciampa coming unglued. We have got ourselves a fight, a Pier 6 brawl in the middle of the Windy City. Chicago coming unglued for this matchup right now between Tommaso Ciampa and Karrion Cross, And Ciampa with the DDT through the ropes to the canvas, a KO blow. 
Oh, and it was so close, so close for victory for Tommaso Ciampa. But Karrion Cross is still in this matchup. Well, Ciampa taking his eye off the ball, going to the top, but Karrion Cross on his tail. Phenomenal matchup, man. These two men highly motivated in the lead up to this Sunday's live premiere event in the Nationwide Arena, Columbus, Ohio. Another shot by Cross, and Cross is going for the straight jacket that he really didn't get a chance to lock into its fullest fruition a few moments ago, and this time it works out in Cross's favor. A tap out by Tommaso Ciampa, and Karrion Cross continuing to ride a high streak of momentum. And I do not like Matt Riddle's chances this Sunday. You can never count out the original bro. He has been to hell and back over the last few months. But Karrion Cross is looking to bring the doom and gloom to the WWE Championship reign of the original bro this Sunday night at Money in the Bank. from the replay, Matt Riddle's in the ring and he's ambushing the number one contender. An eye for an eye by Matt Riddle. Karrion Cross turned the lights off on the champion two weeks ago, laid him out with the choke slam. Matt Riddle has not forgotten. And in the pursuit of the Money in the Bank matchup this Sunday, Matt Riddle's looking to settle the score. Oh, wait a minute, Riddle. We said Karrion Cross is no stranger to using his surroundings to his advantage. Well, neither is the WWE Champion, whose wheels are spinning, and he's looking to execute a perfectly timed attack. Oh, an elbow by Cross. Well, Cross got the blood flowing from this matchup previously, and he's still not going to allow Matt Riddle to get the upper hand, but Riddle says otherwise. We got a brawl on our hands here in Chicago, and Matt Riddle has now got a kendo stick, and he's looking to give Karrion Cross a piece of his own medicine. Oh, and now Cross using the stick over the WWE Champion, but Riddle's still swinging. Things are breaking down here on Monday Night Raw, and a knee by the WWE Champion. Karrion Cross may have bit off more than he can chew, with a motivated as all hell, WWE Champion. These two men will meet from bell to bell this Sunday, but well, right now, I don't know if these two men are gonna make it to Columbus, Ohio. They might destroy each other before money in the bank. The shots with a kendo stick and an explosion of wood at ringside. Matt Riddle, an eye for an eye against Karrion Cross here tonight in Chicago on Monday Night Raw. Do you want access to a bonus Universe Mode episode every single month? Well, now you have the chance. Click the Join button down below and become a NOAA Nation Gaming channel member. Not only will you receive one bonus Universe Mode episode every single month, but you'll receive access to exclusive badges, emojis, discounted merchandise, and more. Become a Premium Pass channel member today and don't miss out on these exclusive perks. We're back live in the Allstate Arena. A raucous start to Monday Night Raw on the road to Money in the Bank this Sunday night. We are set for a tag team affair between Carmelo Hayes, his running buddy Trick Williams, against two men that Carmelo has had his issues with, Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins of the Street Profits. These two teams set the lock horns in the middle of Chicago live tonight on Monday Night Raw. The following is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by MVP and a combined weight of 415 pounds, Trick Williams and Carmelo Hey! Well, before we get to Money in the Bank this Sunday, Friday night on SmackDown, a monstrous eight-man tag has been announced. It's an all-star collision as Robert Roode, Braun Breaker, the 2023 King of the Ring, Austin Theory, and Randy Orton 
take on Ricochet, Dolph Ziggler, the Rated R Superstar Edge, and the World Heavyweight Champion, Drew McIntyre. It's an all-star eight-man tag team matchup coming your way this Friday night on SmackDown. But we are still live here on Monday Night Raw. Still to come, Shinsuke Nakamura one-on-one -on -one with the visionary, Seth freaking Rollins. It's going to be a great main event, and things just breaking down moments ago between Karrion Cross and Matt Riddle. Moments after Cross surviving the Black Heart Tommaso Ciampa. That is how we started the show. That is how we will end this show. But what about everything in between? We got a tag team matchup on hand. Carmelo, Trick Williams. They got their issues with these two men. Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford of the Street Profits. And if there's one thing we know about these two men is that the Street Profits are up and they want the smoke. And their opponents at a combined weight of 492 pounds. Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, the Street Profits. Well, Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins really struggling to build some momentum as, as of late on Monday Night Raw and the debuting Carmelo Hayes about a month and change ago really did not add into the favor of Dawkins and Ford. Hayes owns singles victories over both of these men and as a matter of fact last week Carmelo in singles action against Rick Boogs another victory in the win column for the newcomer to the red brand. MVP certainly has got him two top talents in Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams that are going to be some pivotal parts to Monday Night Raw in the future, I assure. And Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford with long careers ahead of them still, and they are not looking to be stepping stones for anybody. Looking to settle the score with Carmelo and Trick tonight. Carmelo may have had the number of Ford and Dawkins. You're looking at two men who have held tag team championship gold before. This is not a singles matchup. This is a tag team affair. This is the Street Profits forte. And as we just mentioned, the Street Profits want the smoke tonight in the Windy City on Monday Night Raw. And I am sure the World Tag Team Champions of WWE, Damian Priest and Finn Balor of the Judgment Day, have got their eyes on every time a 2v2 bell sounds. And that includes this matchup between Hayes and Trick, as well as Ford and Dawkins. Starting things off with Trick Williams. This is our first look at Trick inside of the ring here on Raw. He was alongside Carmelo last week. MVP getting himself another client, if you will. First Carmelo and then getting Carmelo's running buddy from NXT to join him. And these two men working as a cohesive unit thus far. Carmelo Hayes undefeated since joining the Red Brand. Victories over four. Dawkins, Rick Boogs, and more. And so far, so good. And Carmelo and Trick's first tag team matchup on Monday Night Raw as well. Loading on Montez in the corner. I do want to remind you that coming up on Saturday night, this Saturday on the eve of Money in the Bank, is yet another WWE live event for channel members only. This happens just once a month on the eve of all of our live premiere events. You're not going to want to miss it. As announced just a few days ago, the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar, will return to the ring this Saturday night at WWE Live for channel members only. We emerged on Monday Night Raw last week, ambushing Sami Zayn in the parking garage. It ended up costing Kevin Owens his spot in Money in the Bank. A lot of issues to settle between the KO and Sami show, along with the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. But nonetheless, Lesnar will be inside the squared circle, ready to go, ready to fight this Saturday night and the only way to see it is to become a channel member here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Hit the join button down below so you do not miss out. It's going to be a great night of action. Lesnar will be there and so much more. The channel member exclusive live events seem to be getting bigger and better just as our live premiere events do every single month. And as we've been talking about all night long, Money in the Bank will be live this Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Turn on those notifications you're not going to want to miss the 2023 edition of the Money in the Bank. Absolutely stacked tonight of action, which we are going to run down a little bit later this evening. But right now, Montez Ford is trying to get back into this matchup. It has been all tricking Carmelo thus far. Montez Ford stuck between a rock and a hard place. Dawkins, I believe, may still be brawling away with Carmelo Hayes at ringside. So Ford going alone at the current moment. Beautiful shooting star standing in the ring. Not enough to get the three count, but certainly some damage going to be done 
on the newcomer to the red brand trick williams with a beautiful knockout blow or at least we'd assume so montez ford still in this montez ford a big heart inside of that ring's got to take a lot to keep this young man down as we have seen every time he steps foot between those ropes I would say Montez is in need of a tag right now. Dawkins back on the ring apron, and there we go. Some fresh legs for the Street Profits in this tag team to match tonight in Chicago. And dropping the elbow off the double team. Dawkins and Montez Ford would love to earn themselves a future opportunity at the World Tag Team titles, as I'm sure Trick Williams and Carmelo Hayes would love to as well. May not be a number one contenders match tonight, but as we mentioned, I'm sure the World Tag Team Champions, Damian Priest and Finn Balor, got their eyes on every single 2v2 matchup in the WWE. And that includes this matchup tonight on Raw. These two men are gonna be looking for future challengers for the tag team titles in the near future to could very well be one of these two teams. Melo Hayes coming out of House of Fire after being tagged in, but Dawkins avoiding a pump kick. And goes behind the big man of the Street Profits, muscling up Hayes. Carmelo, all the tools to be a success here in the WWE. He really ran the gauntlet in NXT, he was a cruiserweight champion, the North American champion, NXT champion at one time as well. And can he get the job done and continue to rise the ranks here on Monday Night Raw? And there's the pump kick he was looking for a few moments ago. Angelo Dawkins eating it right on the button. Now Carmelo to the top rope. Dawkins may be in trouble as he gets crushed off that cross body. Electing not to go for the pinfall there. Carmelo wants to add some salt in the wounds, but it may have cost him. Angelo Dawkins off the reversal. Into the cover, Trick Williams breaking things up. Nice bounce back by Dawkins there after an onslaught of offense by Carmelo. Get a size difference between Dawkins and Hayes. AG's really got to use that to his advantage and a big time splash. Getting the springboard, a little added emphasis on there. And Dawkins builds some momentum, get the Street Profits back in winning contention in this matchup. Hayes down and out. There's the tag to Montez Ford, who's had a few moments to rest right now. Montez. Looking to settle the score with Carmelo Hayes tonight on behalf of the Street Profits. And down goes Hayes again. One of the self-proclaimed futures of Monday Night Raw not looking too hot at the moment. There's a reversal. Oh, and Ford rib cage on the canvas and gets met with an A. And that may be all she wrote. Into the cover and a kick out by Ford, but damage certainly going to be done of a beautiful reversal and strength combination. But there's Montez Ford to the Enziguri. Back and forth, we start to go in the tag team affair tonight. And from the heavens, Montez Ford into the cover. And he almost had him. Almost had him. Carmelo almost suffering his first loss since joining the red brand. And Trick Williams in his back pocket, able to survive and save the matchup. Awesome maneuver by Montez Ford, really getting up there on that frog splash. And a tag made to Dawkins. Let's see if this speed and agility mixed with the power of Dawkins is gonna be enough to keep down Hayes. Oh, and a nice counter. Dawkins getting up there as well. An attack made to Trick Williams. Much needed for MVP's boys. But Dawkins not gonna allow any momentum to be built on the opposite side of the ring. Trick Williams starting to throw some haymakers. Dropping the elbow. And what a great tag team matchup we got on, on hand tonight on Monday Night Raw. Talked about it last week on Raw and SmackDown, but it seems like every time the live premiere events approach, everybody in the WWE locker room just a little bit extra fired up. They know, oh, wait, wait a minute, what the hell? What the hell is going on? Karrion Cross, Matt Riddle, the brawl has ensued yet again in the backstage area. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Matt Riddle, it was an eye for an eye. As we mentioned, to kick off the show, Riddle even the score in my eyes, and Karrion Cross not looking to settle, not looking to give Matt Riddle any glimmer of hope, any glimmer of momentum heading towards their matchup this Sunday night in Columbus. I don't know who started this brawl. Karrion Cross, however, has got the WWE Champion weary, and down on the concrete goes Riddle. 
I do not like this. For Matt Riddle, heading into a WWE Championship defense this Sunday. Oh no, up against the table, and I don't know what Karrion Cross has got in mind. You gotta be kidding me through the table! Matt Riddle laid out in the backstage area by the hands of the number one contender, Karrion Cross. Well, hopefully we can get an update. Hopefully we can get them broken apart. And I hope Matt Riddle didn't just suffer any serious injuries heading into the WWE Championship match this Sunday. But yeah, nonetheless, just two combustible elements in the Raw locker room bound to explode. But we got to focus in. Montez Ford, the legal man now. Trick Williams tagging in Carmelo Hayes as we still got an awesome tag team matchup on hand here in Chicago. Oh, Carmelo with the double knees. Montez Ford may be out cold, and he is. An unfortunate loss for Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford. They have not found the answer to the question that is Carmelo Hayes and now Trick Williams. A dangerous duo that MVP is backing and maybe a trio unstoppable here on Monday Night Raw. Big win for Carmelo and Trick tonight in Chicago. Here are your winners, Trick Williams and Carmelo Hayes. Well, one thing's for sure, the Street Profits will live to fight another day, but Trick Williams and Carmelo Hayes picking up the W tonight on Raw. This Saturday night, it is our WWE live event for channel members only, and as already announced, the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar, returns to the squared circle for the first time since May the 14th at Vengeance, and The Miz has drawn the unlucky challenge of meeting the Beast Incarnate this Saturday night. Also coming up on Saturday at WWE Live, it is a SmackDown showcase between Johnny Wrestling, Johnny Gargano, taking on the modern-day Maharaja, Jinder Mahal. The WWE Women's Tag Team titles are on the line. Caden Carter and Katana Chance defend the gold for the first time since winning them last month in Hammerstein Ballroom against Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell of the way. Several more matches going to be taking place this Saturday. Become a channel member today and don't miss out on a minute of the action on the eve of the Money in the Bank live premiere event. We're back inside the All-State Arena and the goddess Alexa Bliss has got her hands full with a woman... It'll challenge Liv Morgan for the WWE Women's Championship of the World this Sunday at Money in the Bank. And from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, the WWE Women's Champion, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. A new piece of hardware around the waist of the Queen of Spades, but will Shayna Baszler be walking to the ring one of the final times with that gold? It is a King of the Ring rematch this Sunday night. Liv Morgan looking to win back the gold she lost to Shayna Baszler just a number of weeks ago. Liv Baszler one-on-one -on -one this Sunday at Money in the Bank for the WWE Women's Championship of the World. The interesting situation is that Liv Morgan has unfortunately tapped out to that Carafuta clutch, not once but twice, out of the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. Liv Morgan believes she's got what it takes to take out Baszler, to right the wrongs of the previous occasions, and win back the championship that she lost last month at King of the Ring. All remains to be seen if Liv Morgan will be able to accomplish that goal this Sunday. But as for tonight here in Chicago, a close friend and Sometimes tag team partner of Liv Morgan and the goddess Alexa Bliss has got her hands full with Shayna Baszler. Remember dating back to Raw Homecoming last month, Alexa Bliss teaming up with Liv Morgan to take on Rhea Ripley and Shayna Baszler. And of course, that was the first time that Baszler tapped out Liv Morgan, so Alexa Bliss felt defeat on that night. And the last time we saw Bliss two weeks ago here on Raw, coming up short against the Nightmare Rhea Ripley in one-on-one -on -one action, Missing out on a spot in the women's Money in the Bank ladder match this Sunday. So a chance for Alexa Bliss to start building some momentum tonight. Get back in the win column and really capitalize on an opportunity here. As if Bliss can defeat Shayna Baszler, definitely is going to put herself in line for a future WWE Women's Championship match. Regardless of who leaves Columbus, Ohio this Sunday as the champion. Shayna Baszler has already successfully defended the championship off by, by count out. 
defeating a returning Candice LeRae a number of weeks ago on SmackDown, but Liv Morgan going to be a house of fire, I'm sure, this Sunday night. With adrenaline pumping in her soul to try to take back the championship that she gave up to Baszler last month at King of the Ring. This is really a chance here for Alexa Bliss to do one good by her friend Liv Morgan and really derail some of the momentum of Baszler. Shayna has not taken a loss in several months here in the WWE. After WrestleMania a few months back, it's really as if the Queen of Spades has just been shifted into a new gear, a new mindset. She has been running through women on SmackDown and now as champion on Raw as well. Shayna Baszler, of course, a SmackDown superstar with the right to be on both brands as she is the WWE Women's Champion. Baszler taking it to one of Monday Night Raw's best in the goddess Alexa Bliss. As things spill out to ringside as we have seen multiple times throughout tonight already. And Alexa Bliss catching Baszler off guard and a nice drop kick on the ringside. Alexa Bliss not looking to see this opportunity pass through her fingers tonight. This is a former women's champion multiple times in her own right. Former Money in the Bank holder as well in Alexa Bliss. She has been to the top of the mountain. She has been to the main event. We're going to get back there is the goddess, and tonight could be the first step in doing so. Certainly a tall task ahead, but never count out a former champion like Alexa. Here's Shayna Baszler. A dodge. Oh, and Alexa Bliss running through the brick wall there, and Shayna Baszler meeting her with an emphatic spear, cutting the goddess in half, falling over the knee as well. And Shayna... Some of these strikes, what makes her so dominant inside of that squared circle. The reason she is the WWE Women's Champion. Of course, that Carafuta clutch, the submission hold that Liv Morgan tapped out to, gave up the championship last month. Alexa's got to avoid that tonight and avoid it at all costs, and she's looking good right now, trying to go for the superplex, but Baszler not having none of it. Down goes Alexa, and Baszler off the top with the elbow to the heart. Very competitive matchup on deck right now in Chicago. I'm sure Liv Morgan has got her eyes locked in this match, trying to figure out any loophole in the arsenal, any weakness that Shayna Baszler exposes that she could use against the Queen of Spades this Sunday night. Oh, look at this, Alexa Bliss trying to catch Baszler off her door. Small package there, but not just yet. Bliss trying any means necessary to keep down the women's champion tonight on Raw, but Shayna Baszler going to keep swinging until she hears a bell. I don't know how much more Alexa Bliss has got left in her. It's been a fight since the opening, but here comes Alexa, throwing a couple of haymakers herself. Almost had Baszler a few moments ago off that small package. Maybe Alexa Bliss needs, needs to find a pocket, find a window. And do all she can to keep Shayna Baszler down. But look at this. What a maneuver. Into the arm bar. A submission hold by the Queen of Spades. And Alexa Bliss is trapped. Shayna got that submission hit in the blink of an eye. And Alexa. Is she going to tap? Oh, well, not just yet. Still fighting. Let me get Shayna off her tail. Great counter by the goddess. Another reversal there. Alexa's got to capitalize on these reversals, however. And Shayna Baszler now. Oh, this is Vintage out of the arsenal, the champion. Beautiful takedown into the knee. And Shayna Baszler not done. Inflicting punishment on Alexa Bliss tonight. She knows Liv Morgan's washing. She knows the relationship between Morgan and Bliss. And Baszler looking to use the goddess as a stepping stone to send a message to the challenger this Sunday. Shayna Baszler got Alexa to her feet, but she may be only bringing her back down. And Karafuda Clutch locked in. Alexa Bliss, nowhere to go, nowhere to run or hide. The tap out, and it's another victory for the WWE Women's Champion. A message sent loud and clear. The number one contender, Liv Morgan. That was her fate, not once but twice last month. But will she be able to survive, or will Shayna Baszler go for three this Sunday at Money in the Bank? Here is your winner, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. Liv Morgan has certainly has a tall task ahead of her. The dominating Shayna Baszler has been on a war path. Will she be able to retain the Women's Championship this Sunday, or will Liv Morgan survive and win back the gold?
next time we come your way for a live premiere event, it is this Sunday night, the Nationwide Arena in Columbus, Ohio, 5 p.m. Eastern time for Money in the Bank. The United States Championship set to be defended on behalf of SmackDown, the ring general. Gunther has been running roughshod over the blue brand for months. That is the greatest mask of all time, Rey Mysterio, ready to step up and take down the gold. The Intercontinental Championship is on the line. LA Knight won the Independence Day Battle Royal last week, but the invincible Ilya Dragunov has got a score to settle with the Defiant Knight for the Intercontinental Championship. Shayna Baszler running rough shot over Raw and SmackDown as the women's champion, but Liv Morgan has not forgotten about that fateful night at King of the Ring, looking to run things back and win back the championship this Sunday in Columbus. This is the Monday Night Raw main event, and as we've already seen throughout this evening, things boiling over between Karrion and Cross and Matt Riddle, but something's gotta give. Only one man can walk away this Sunday as the WWE Champion. And on behalf of Friday Night SmackDown, it is a triple threat matchup for the World Heavyweight Championship. Two challengers, the Rated R Superstar Edge, the Apex Predator Randy Orton, can the Scottish Warrior Drew McIntyre survive the triple threat? It is the six woman Money in the Bank ladder matchup Bianca Belair, Raquel Rodriguez, Rhea Ripley, Io Sky, Mi Chin, Mia Yim, and the man Becky Lynch, who's going to pull down the briefcase this Sunday night. And on the men's side of the field, what a stacked roster it is. Tommaso Ciampa, Ricochet, AJ Styles, Braun Breaker, Seth Rollins, and Shinsuke Nakamura. Six men, one winner, and one ultimate opportunity hangs in the balance this Sunday live at Money in the Bank. But it is time for your main event from the All-State Arena in Chicago, Illinois. The King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura, set to run things back from last month's King of the Ring event. One-on-one -on -one with the visionary, Seth freaking Rollins. And certainly a whole lot of momentum is riding on the line, heading towards Money in the Bank this Sunday night. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Kyoto, Japan. Weighing in at 220 pounds, Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura qualifying for Money in the Bank seven nights ago in a main event affair against the prize fighter Kevin Owens. And as we discussed earlier tonight, the returning Brock Lesnar taking the eye off the ball for Kevin Owens, allowing an opening for Nakamura to na nail Kevin Owens with the Kinshasa and punch his golden ticket to the Money in the Bank ladder matchup. And Nakamura, of course, as we mentioned, set to run things back. It is a King of the Rings semi-final rematch. Two men that will represent Monday Night Raw on Sunday night. Shinsuke Nakamura and Seth Rollins. And remember what happened last month in Philadelphia. Nakamura defeated Rollins after an absolute clinic. And I'm sure Seth Rollins has not forgotten about his shoulders being pinned to the canvas on that fateful night at the Wells Fargo Center. A chance to right that wrong in the lead up to Money in the Bank this Sunday night. Nakamura laser focused, but so is the visionary. Seth freaking Rollins has his eyes on the prize. One of these men could very well be leaving with the briefcase this Sunday at the Nationwide Arena. And his opponent from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth freaking Rollins. Seth Rollins qualified for Money in the Bank. In my eyes, surviving the almighty Bobby Lashley just a few weeks ago, which has really been a theme for Lashley. Yeah, the opponent's just scraping by. I'm sure Bobby Lashley's gonna be raring to bounce back and get back inside of the ring very soon. But nonetheless, Seth Rollins, if there was a will, there was a way, and he found his way to the Money in the Bank ladder matchup. And Rollins knows that briefcase oh so well. He won it before, cashed in, and quite possibly the most famous Money in the Bank cash-in of all time. Several years ago, WrestleMania 31 becoming the WWE Champion. All these years later, Rollins looking to repeat history, but he's got to get through Nakamura tonight and got to get through four other men this Sunday in Columbus, Ohio. Nakamura and Rollins, it is your 
main event tonight and the final pit stop for Monday Night Raw before our live premiere on Sunday. Chicago, Illinois has been rocking all night long here in the All-State Arena and they are getting a good one in their main event. Joining these two men this Sunday, also from Monday Night Raw, the man you saw in your opening contest, Tommaso Ciampa, who just fell short to Karrion Cross, but you gotta believe Ciampa's gonna be more fired up than ever to bounce back and try to take down the briefcase on Sunday. And of course, from Friday Night SmackDown, the up and coming Braun Breaker, the one and only Ricochet, and the phenomenal AJ Styles, an all star lineup for the men's Money in the Bank ladder matchup. Regardless of the talent field, regardless of the superstardom, only one man is going to get the opportunity to hold the briefcase that holds a championship opportunity anytime, any place for up to one year. Look at last year's Money in the Bank, both those briefcases being cashed in successfully. There's the women's one bond by the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, which really catapulted her to holding the women's championship for the better part of a year here in WWE. Of course, the men's briefcase was taken by Edge, who went on to win the WWE Championship last year at SummerSlam. This briefcase is meant to change your career forever, and somebody's career is going to change in the matter of a moment this Sunday night. And it could very well be the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura, or it could be the visionary Seth freaking Rollins. We will find out on Sunday, but tonight momentum's riding on the line, and so far, Shinsuke Nakamura wrestling his style of matchup. As we mentioned, these two men met last month in Philadelphia in the semifinals of the King of the Ring tournament. An absolute clinic it was. But in the end, Shinsuke Nakamura able to survive Rollins. Nakamura moved on to the finals of the King of the Ring. Unfortunately, fell short to Friday Night SmackDown's Austin Theory, who we know will be lying in the wait for the winner of SmackDown's World Championship matchup on Sunday. As Austin Theory will challenge for the big gold belt next month at SummerSlam. As for Nakamura and Seth Rollins, it's a new leash on their careers, a new opportunity at stake. Who will make the most of it? So far, Nakamura making the most of this main event. Now to put Rollins away, yeah, but certainly is doing a number on the visionary of World Wrestling Entertainment. And another cover there. Not able to keep Seth down, but certainly the damage starting to take a toll. Wait a minute, Rollins up to his feet and going for the kill. Pedigree time. Oh, but Nakamura not allowing it. Nice reversal by the King of Strong Style. Rollins trying to bounce back in a big way with that pedigree. Nakamura had something else in mind, but there's Rollins striking while the iron's hot with the knee to the jaw. Now here comes Seth with the Falcon Arrow, starting to build momentum in your main event. As this matchup progresses, don't forget, this Friday night on SmackDown, a monstrous all-star eight-man tag team matchup as Randy Orton teams with Austin Theory, Robert Roode, and Braun Breaker as those four men take on Ricochet, Dolph Ziggler, Edge, and the World Heavyweight Champion Drew McIntyre. And of course, on Saturday night is our channel member exclusive WWE Live event that will feature the in-ring return of Brock Lesnar. Hit the join button down below. Become a channel member today so you don't miss out on a moment of the action coming your way this week. Nonetheless, Seth Rollins using Nakamura's own style of strikes against him at ringside. And Shinsuke Nakamura may be seeing stars right now. Rollins finding a way to flip the switch in this main event collision. Nakamura eating the steel steps to the lower back right there. Not going to go well for Nakamura as this matchup progresses, but there's Shinsuke taking the rug out from underneath Seth, and he almost got the pinfall. Close call there by the King of Strong Style. Rollins was able to survive, but he may have just been delaying the inevitable. Nakamura trying to slow things down, get his wits about him, and there's a knee, a mean strike right to the gut. And another kick. Nakamura fired up. Chicago behind the King of Strong Style. And now Nakamura looking for that Death Valley driver, and he sits out with it into the cover. And he almost had him. Close call there by Nakamura, but Seth Rollins gets the shoulder up. Nakamura wants the same result as Philadelphia last month. But Seth Rollins sees another big 
victory on the horizon. Classic Nakamura right there. Off that German. And Seth Rollins struggling to get to his feet in your main event live from Chicago. Off the middle buckle again. Big move by the King of Strong Style. This match has majority been controlled by Shinsuke Nakamura. Seth Rollins has got it. Well, there you go. There's a counter by Rollins. And we get Nakamura off his back at least for a second. But Rollins has got to capitalize. Every time he starts to build momentum, the main aggressor of this contest, I would say, Shinsuke Nakamura takes it right back. Gotta wonder if Rollins is in his head. After he knows the last time these two men meet, Nakamura picked up the victory. Shinsuke Nakamura knows that very well. I'm trying to execute the same game plan that he used to defeat Rollins back at King of the Ring. And the fight yet again being taken to ringside where Seth Rollins flipped the switch on Shinsuke Nakamura earlier on. And on the outside, continuing this assault. Nakamura not looking so hot. And Seth Rollins may be nearing victory in your main event affair. Stiff forearm. Nakamura known for throwing strikes, but Seth Rollins delivering one of his own. Referee's at a count of five right now. Rollins has taken every second at ringside to inflict punishment on Shinsuke Nakamura. Both of these men gonna be in that Money in the Bank on Sunday night. I'm sure they're both hoping not to risk any serious injury. Nakamura stacking up Rollins and he almost stole the, vi stole the victory. Oh, and a Kinshasa by Seth Rollins. Out of nowhere, down goes Rollins. Nakamura almost had him. In just a matter of a second, Nakamura changed the game plan. Wasn't able to pin Seth Rollins. Rollins pushed him off. Nakamura had him scouted. And a big time Kinshasa taking the, the visionary off his feet. Nakamura not able to put Rollins away. Somehow Seth Rollins survives, but for how much longer? You see the visionaries on spaghetti legs. The lights are on. Nobody's home. Nakamura's continuing the offense. Strike after strike. And Shinsuke Nakamura. Like a shark in the water right now that smells blood. And down goes Rollins again. Into the cover, not watching the ring awareness. Seth Rollins saved by the ropes at least for a moment, but Nakamura has got the momentum behind him. Or is Seth Rollins about to take it right back? Oh, and here comes Seth. Oh, man. A mean fall away in the corner as Nakamura may have went down the rugs of the turnbuckle pads one after another. It's an easy way to get a concussion inside of that ring. Seth Rollins now try to capitalize on a weakened opponent. Nakamura may be knocked out cold. He hit every one of those turnbuckles on the way down a moment ago. Shinsuke's got to shake off the cobwebs, but will he be able to? Rollins is on his tail and trying to continue this onslaught of offense. Right to the dome. Nakamura is out like a light. And if he's not, then he definitely is now. A curb stomp by Rollins. And that is going to take things home. Wait a minute. Not just yet. Shinsuke Nakamura is still fighting. What a main event we got on hand tonight in Chicago. Rollins survived a Kinshasa. Nakamura survived a stomp. But wait a minute. A super stop off the middle buckle. And that'll do it. Seth Rollins had to up the ante in order to keep down the King of Strong Style here tonight. Well, what a main event. Nakamura, nothing to be ashamed of in defeat. Rollins had to go somewhere where he doesn't go too often. The middle buckle and delivering a stomp from the heavens to keep down Shinsuke. Here is your winner. Well, who is going to take down the Money in the Bank briefcase this Sunday night? Three from Raw, three from SmackDown, but only one contract hangs in the balance. And also coming up 
this Sunday in Columbus, Ohio. The sixth woman Money in the Bank ladder matchup. Who is going to earn themselves a future opportunity at the WWE Women's Championship of the World? In Friday Night SmackDown's main event, it is a triple threat affair for the World Heavyweight Championship. The Rated R Superstar Edge, the Apex Predator Randy Orton, and the Scottish Warrior Drew McIntyre. And something's got to give between Karrion Cross and Matt Riddle. Tensions rising high tonight in Chicago. But when these two men clash from Bell to Bell this Sunday, who will be the WWE Champion? An awesome night here at the All-State Arena. But we will see you this Sunday night, live from the Nationwide Arena in Columbus, Ohio, for the 2023 WWE Money in the Bank. And that man right there could very well be holding the briefcase for a second time in his career live this Sunday. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rock.